Hi, good morning and uh, welcome to this session. So uh, now today in this video we will be uh, learning how to create this uh, model for this particular exercise. So this is the sectional front view and this is the top view. This is a guide bush. So, so let us start uh, this uh, particular exercise we will be creating using the option called revolve so we will be uh, creating a uh, cross section like this and we will revolve it so let us do that so first what we will do is we will roughly make a rectangle of this size that is uh, so say this is 14 14 and uh, uh, 14 plus thirty two minus fourteen by two thirty two minus fourteen divided by two so twenty seven so twenty seven and uh, fifty five we will draw a rectangle first so right click new component then turn on the origin here so we'll uh, draw the cross section on our front plane create a sketch then just to draw a line center line to draw a center line select the line and press X then click on the screen then draw a rectangle small rectangle of size 27 and 55 so height is 55 press tab key and 27 so just to draw this then We can make uh, coincident. This line is coincident here. Then this diameter we will give. So this diameter. How to give the diameter dimension? You can select the center line, then one edge, then right click diameter dimension, and here you can give 14. So the inside dimension is 14. So 27. I think 27. 34 minus so there is a so 32 so 32 minus 14 32 minus 14 so this inside is 14 so this total is 32 32 minus 14 by 2 so 9 so we will edit that to 9 so let's say this is 9 now we will uh, you, you can make the fillet uh, here so this both side we will make the fillet R2 then then we can draw the remaining portion say like this so to a uh, 22 mm height we have to draw this this particular cross section so let us draw that so draw the line okay up to here and uh, this distance is 5 this is 5 and this angle is 15 degree and the outer diameter is 22 you can select this this uh, line right click diameter dimension and give the value as 22 then one more dimension we can give that is 22 again so from here to this edge here it is 22 now we can draw a line then trim all the unwanted lines from these areas now one more thing we can draw the uh, inside there is a line so let us draw that So 
so let us simply draw this line then use horizontal vertical and make this vertical then we can give the dimension again here diameter dimension so this is uh, I think uh, 16 let me give the dimension first then we will we'll check it's 15 so we will edit this to 15 then slowly arrange the dimension properly so first it is 14 then 15 then it is 22 then uh, this height here is 24 so give this value so here we will give 24 then this angle we will mention this angle as 60 degree or 59 also you can give because 118 is the drill angle then trim all the unwanted lines here so this line and this line we will trim so there is one more so this total height once again we have to give so how much it was uh, so from here there is a dimension that dimension we will give that is 32 32 from this is 32 32 then here one small fillet is there that is R1 ok then here uh, two more grooves that also will make so R2 typical so create arc center point arc so draw two arc one is here one arc here another one more arc at this area then you can give equal both this and as well as this equal then give the value as R2 and also give the dimension this is 10 and from here to this center also 10 then we can trim all the unwanted lines from here to here so this is the cross section you can check any dimension is missing or not or uh, if anything is missing we will do it later okay finish sketch then this is the uh, this is a new option which is called revolve so for that you have to make a closed uh, cross section then there should be a axis available for rotation so you can go to revolve then automatically it is getting selected the cross section then you can go to axis selection and select the axis required axis then here you can define the angle value normally uh, it will be a complete uh, uh, 360 degree revolution otherwise we have to give the uh, angle value okay so this is the bush we have completed the bush now we have to save this so just uh, file save save with a proper name uh, in my drawing some guide bush drawing is available so what I will do is I will give guide bush 1 then save so we have created the uh, guide bush model and saved so automatically you can see here the name is appeared here guide bush 1 b0 then we can activate this then next is we have to create this uh, this particular uh, drawing completely so we have already completed the uh, template 
so what we will do we will uh, use that template and uh, we will edit first so let us do that so uh, you can go here so in uh, from here you can go to no new drawing from design then here template here we have an option called a template and from here we have to uh, select the template which we have created recently so that is a4 standard so if you uh, don't know how to create the template you have to watch the previous videos uh, which is created in the same module 10 so you watch all the videos which are available so from here a4 standard we will select this so automatically the, all the remaining settings will automatically uh, it will select then you can give ok so it sometimes it may take uh, some one minute something like that you have to wait till the drawing completely opens so now you can see that uh, you will get the uh, drawing will get opened so that time uh, you have to select top view not this top view you have to select this top view this top view then we can switch on all the hidden visible and hidden edges you can click here then this scale factor we can refer the drawing here it is given 1.5 is to 1 so we will use the so this is for reference when you make uh, you can decide your own scale factor here 1.5 is to 1 then we will place the uh, the top view just somewhere here then make it ok now first uh, what we will do we will uh, edit these nodes first of all because uh, actually you can do later also but uh, here in this software some limitation is there so what we will do is we will edit this so what are the nodes given all unspecified fillets rounds can be taken as R1.5 all unspecified fillets rounds can be taken as R1.5 all unspecified chamfer to be taken as 1 mm all sharp edges chamfer 1 into 45 so all all sharp edges all sharp edges chamfer chamfer 1 into 1 into so let us see we will remove the space here 1 into 45 then degree degree then this drawing is prepared using a scale factor of 1.5 is to 1 1.5 is to 1 so this uh, note particular note we have edited let us move this little bit downwards so next what we will do is we will uh, make these things so this is item number 5 so this uh, particular things we will do so first uh, let us draw a circle so for to draw a circle you, it is not possible to do anything here so what you have to do is you have to right click here edit border then here you have to draw a circle so 
so draw a circle then write the value here I think we'll snap will off it then text 0 5 so let us place it properly now we'll increase the size of the circle slightly bigger size this thickness we will okay it is okay I think slightly will increase it slightly more now we have to draw the that machining symbol so for that what we will do we will draw a line actually it should be 60 degree so how to do that so we will draw a line line of uh, 6.75 height from here we will draw a vertical line just to draw a line first then draw a horizontal line also because this particular uh, symbol also you draw it properly because we are going to use it continuously now this we can offset 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 this line to a height of 6.75 that is 6.75 okay then this particular line we will offset by 3.87 modify offset select this line 3.87 two times you have to offset then this line we have to offset to the middle of this line modify offset this line we will sorry we will trim first so let us trim this first so so uh, let us find out the middle portion of this so draw a line from here or else we will offset modify offset this line through this point ok then uh, you can delete these lines now you can draw uh, lines for this to the middle of this so let us trim this also delete this so let us draw a line okay draw like this now we can extend this line up to here extend now we can trim all the unwanted portions in this line here okay delete all the unwanted lines here so this is the symbol machining and uh, that uh, machining symbol now we can write the information so here n7 turned you can write here so go to text select here type n7 
so let us move this I think we have to so we will uh, reduce the size of this we'll make it 3 move this if you want okay now we will write the text here turned this also we will let us see 2.5 how it will look like then t u turned close make the line so this also we will change to 2.5 let us move this move this entire thing we will move will copy one more uh, time copy this so this is n6 and this will change to ground G R O U N D ground now here we have to make a okay let us first draw a rectangle covering this let us move this again move now let us draw two lines over here just one line like this another one more line so let us copy this copy this line then extend extend this here ok trim uh, first of all trim ok then we will extend now we can again uh, we can draw uh, lines or copy the lines so let us copy copy the line say up to here and up to here again copy copy this line from this line to say this point ok then trim then select this line delete this also we will delete it so we have made this uh, this symbol uh, the information about uh, texture so now we will draw this uh, bush 1 bush 2 
die 14 h7 die 12 h7 this also we will draw now so just to draw a draw a line so let us offset offset this so how much 6 6 we will offset ok then let us draw a line on here then so dia A so just write the text so somewhere here we will uh, type this dia then A A so this size also we will reduce to 3 3 is ok then we will move this ok then we will offset modify offset ok then bush 1 here bush 1 bush 2 these three thing, uh, two things we will write so we will copy this copy this text transform from here to here ok then edit this bush 1 then we will offset this again offset then we will copy then trim it again copy push to now here die 14 h7 die 12 h7 so I think uh, copy copy again this so here dia 14 H7 so diameter 12 H7 so this under thing we have completed now let us ok now let us go and complete these things finish border now we will uh, uh, this uh, edit the title block we will edit the title block here so go here right click edit title block first of all we will edit the number this number is so 0 to 25 25 of 30 all these things we have to edit 0 to 25 then this is 25 of 30 then this name is it is guide bush guide bush 
so let us increase uh, if you want you can increase the size also okay no not required so we'll move to the sender okay now the date also we will edit so this is 24 this is 25 let's say 25 then this is let's say 26 now we have to add a few details here that is So here I think we can 6mm offset here. Modify offset this 6. <coughs> then OK. We have offset it. Now we can draw line over here. Now we'll offset again. Modify offset. This line we can offset to here. Say here also, here. So let us offset from this side. Let us copy, copy this. Okay, then we can write the text. So let us write the text. So this we will use 3mm height italic. Then write the post POS. <coughs> then move this. Place it. Okay, let it be like this. Then copy copy this this we will copy description then cancel I think here one more line is required. Uh, let me check. Okay, here. Uh, okay, after description, we have to add one more line. So copy this. Copy this line from this point to somewhere here. So copy. So let us start from here. So let us draw a line. Let's say here. Trim this. Now copy, copy this, copy this position from here to here, one, here another one, this one more. Okay, then edit all the 
things this is description will type as d e s c r i p t i o n description then next is material size quantity remarks this is material size quantity this will write as remarks so let us move this little bit towards left move Okay, now we will write the remaining details. That is zero five guide bush OHNS. So copy all these things. Copy. Zero five. guide bush OHNS then size is die 32 into 54 diameter 32 into 54 then quantity Num two numbers then remarks 48 52 HRC So this much things we can add, finish title block. Okay, now we will uh, continue with uh, the drafting. So first we can give a center mark, select this center mark. Okay, then go to drawing view, section view, select the view first, then we can place our section lines here enter press enter key and drag the view upwards then place it then ok I think we can move this both the views uh, slightly towards the right move now oh, that much is not required so let us move a little bit towards left okay I think uh, it is uh, almost centralized now now we can uh, orient this uh, A bring the A somewhere here towards the tail of this arrow this A also we will bring towards the tail of this arrow here then this uh, this particular thing we will edit as section AA and the remaining things we will delete this scale factor we will delete then we can expand this then we will move this and place place this somewhere here
so next we will give some dimension and we will adjust so first we can give a center line mark now we can increase the length of this okay up to here this also slightly say up to here okay now we'll just move this view sli slightly now let us give all the dimensions so before that we will give the center mark center mark center mark for this fillet this now let us say we will give the inner dimension so go to dimension dimension linear dimension so just to place this dimension then we will place the outer dimension also this we will this distance will uh, reduce little bit more uh, some more as much as required ok now we will edit this this is so as mentioned this we will give diameter A diameter A here diameter a h7 is not required even though we'll, we can write this okay diameter a h7 now we will now we can give this dimensions so let us pr produce the drawing in the similar way r2 typ give r2 so we will use leader click this edge then give R2 TYP then give these dimensions then again here also we can give the same thing I think here it is given now from here to here also we will give the dimension Now next uh, we will give this dimension here angular dimension you can select this it 
linear dimension here so go here use um, this arrow key to position the uh, diameter symbol properly here also we will give use the arrow key to bring you can see the cursor blinking here then only you can we will be able to edit I think we will move this slightly some more place it properly this we will drag little bit downwards so here also we will give the R2 TYP Okay, now here another one we have to give that is. So bring the cursor here and insert the symbol diameter 22 then M6 you can give M6 so small letter M6 close now datum identifier we can select this face bring this point here then place it then press enter key ok So now we have to give uh, 22 M6 up to here we have done. Then concentricity 0 0.02 with uh, respect to A that we have to give. So go here this is the feature control frame. So come here then select this particular edge right then bring here then click enter so you will get this uh, first tolerance you can type 0 0.02 so uh, this here uh, you have to use concentricity So concentricity you select so come here this symbol click this edge then bring here then move here enter then select the concentricity symbol then here first tolerance 0 0.02 then first datum is A capital letter A then ok
so now uh, you can uh, give this uh, surface texture so click this edge then one more time you have to click then press enter then use this then ok okay here we are not going to add any other a particular thing again select the surface texture symbol click here one more time you can click here then enter then select this second option material removal required then ok now any other thing is there to be added so here we have to write the n6 text that we have to add separately so add n6 so you can select the text then this uh, this we will type it as 2.5 then type here n6 close I think we will give this 3 size 3 it's very small we will give 3 then we can rotate this rotate Ninety degree, then OK. Then move this. Move. OK. Then copy is not available. You have to do one more time. So select this. Again, uh, this three. Then write the letter, text N6, close, then rotate, ok, then again move this also and place it there, move, ok. I think everything is completed now uh, if anything is missing you can do in this way let me check once again before so I think we have completed everything after that you save it save so guide bush one drawing save first you save actually we want this this particular uh, thing as well as these details uh, these details here so what we will do will go again once again we'll go here save as save as oh here one more line is there that i want to delete save as go here so change the, to drawing template so before that uh, cancel so i want to delete this edit border let me delete this line finish border save ok so let me check anything is there no so what you do is then after that save as so go here drawing template and uh, A4 template one so we have we are going to create another one more template okay so this particular thing will be available later on so let me close this now how to uh, take out the uh, output in the form of PDF as well as AutoCAD drawing both we will discuss 
let us go to the here go to data panel now guide bush one drawing just open the guide bush one drawing right click open you can see that opening document wait so we got this uh, drawing now now you can go here output output pdf all sheets then ok so guide bush 1 uh, with uh, version is not required save so it is saved I'm going to open later on just wait then again if you want say if you want to uh, give this drawing to someone else for uh, drafting or checking something but uh, remember one thing this is a scale factor is 1.5 is to 1 so once again go here output DWG then here format you change to simplify DWG then OK so you can see that this drawing is going to be saved in AutoCAD 2013 format so here you uh, then you save to the required folder here save so before closing I will just open the PDF drawing also so just wait here So guide bush 1, this is the drawing which we have created right now, the PDF format. I will show you the quality of uh, drawing which we have created now. Okay, you can see that the quality is not bad. So this is the quality you will get uh, in Fusion 360. If you make the uh, the drawing in the explained format which I have explained in this so that's all thanks for watching thank you